Some know Georgia for its peaches, others for its film industry or Civil War heritage. But there's something else that Georgia is known for. Football. Welcome to Statesboro. Here, eagles fly. They soar over this coastal plains town, from the crisscross streets to the low-lying wetlands. And on autumn Saturdays, they lace up the cleats and strap on the shoulder pads as 25,000 Eagle fans sound a collective cry to the sky looking for glory. This is the prettiest little stadium in America. This is our house. This is... GSU was granted university status in 1990 and has been consistently upgrading the entire campus, including the Eagles sports facilities. The football program here now competes in the Sun Belt Conference as a member of FBS. The football program began NCAA play in 1984. Prior to that, the last time college football was played in Statesboro was 1941. That's when football was suspended at then Georgia Teachers College due to World War II. Since the game returned to Southern in the mid-80s, the Eagles have won six FCS national championships and 11 conference championships, 10 as a member of the SOCON and one in the Sun Belt. Freedom Rings in Statesboro. It's also the name of Southern's live bald eagle mascot who is housed at the on-campus Center for Wildlife Education and for Southern Home Contest makes the short trip over to Paulson Stadium. He takes flight pregame and soars above the raucous crowd flaunting his impressive plumage to all of Statesboro below. This is just one of many long-held traditions in this small southern town. Two hours prior to kickoff, the Eagles players arrive at Paulson Stadium on bright yellow school buses to a lively crowd and honking horns. This is the turbulence before the loud chaotic storm. Legendary coach Irk Russell stated one time that if we score, we may win. If they never score, we'll never lose. And so after each Southern score, an M119 Howitzer Cannon fires a shot, sending shockwaves throughout the stadium and alerting all of Southern Georgia, the Eagles have struck again. There's just something about college football in Statesboro. There's a special connection between the fan base and the team. The supporters in Statesboro understand the team's identity. By the definition of Irk Russell, a junkyard dog, is a dog completely dedicated to his task, that of defending his goal line. Further, he is very often a reject or runt of the litter. There was truly no better place in America for Irk to instill that junkyard dog mentality than in Statesboro, Georgia. And it certainly was effective. Russell's 16-2 postseason record speaks for itself as does the team's all-time postseason record of 33-3 at Paulson Stadium. But win, lose, or draw, you can be sure of one thing. Every autumn Saturday, Paulson Stadium will rock. On Eagles' wings, the team will soar as Statesboro pledges their loyalty and love forevermore.